Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Fuel Linux box from CyberSec Labs. Before we jump into that though, uh, there's currently a giveaway running for a one month subscription on my channel. So go check out that video if you haven't already. But let's jump into this box. So first of all, we're going to start with the Nmap scan and we notice there's two open ports. There's port 22, which is SSH and port 80, which is HTTP. Now out of these two, port 80 is the most interesting one to look at in the beginning. So let's take a look at what is running here. And we see that we have a welcome page, a getting started page for Fuel CMS, Content Management System. And we also have a version number. So once you have a software and a version number, something that you can check is, is there any public vulnerabilities for this? So let's do just that. We are going to check, do a search exploit of Fuel and we come up with two uh, exploits for the fuel CMS, both for version 1.4. something, but we don't know that last part. We have this SQL injection, but that's authenticated, and we don't currently have working credentials. But then we have this remote code execution. So that's something that we can try out. So if you append the dash W option, you will get the URL here, and you can go to the exploit. Okay, so this is the exploit. Um, it, uh, if you look through the code, it seems to uh, get a command. Then on the select page, this filter argument, we're going to inject into that something. And that's going to allow us to get a commo uh, code execution, it seems. So let's look a little bit more closely into what's happening here. So I copied this, which is URL encoded. So we URL decode it and we see it's going to system or input or something like that. So, okay, this is an, is an R, R, RCE. Now I try to look deeper into this RCE. I downloaded the source code here for fuel, um, but I couldn't really find anything. I spent, I didn't spend too long on it. So if you have any more information on, on the commit that fixed this RCE, please let me know in the comments. But uh, we have this um, exploit that will maybe work. So let's execute it here. Um, so this is Python 2 because there's no, uh, no parentheses here. So let's run this with Python 2. So Python, um, and I named this fuelrce.py. Okay, so it's asking for us for, to enter a command, so let's enter id, and it's not going to work. And that is normal because we didn't change the URL here. So let's change that really quickly to the URL of this box. Save that, run it again, type our command, and we'll notice that still doesn't work, and it's trying to make a connection to our localhost port 8080. Now, why is that? Well, that's because we have this proxy here and it seems like this exploit was set up to proxy with burp but if we remove this proxy we might get it to work so let's do just that and execute it and we can see that hey that seems to have worked yes we have our command here so that's perfect all right now from there what do we do well we are currently the user moira which is fine. Uh, let's see if the, she has anything in her uh, in her home folder. And we can see that she has a .ssh folder. So maybe in that .ssh folder, she has um, a private key that we could use to log in. So slash home slash Moira. Um, make sure I do that right. Yes. .ssh. And we notice, yes, she has this ID underscore RSH key, which is the private key that we need. And she also has authorized keys here. Um, so we can probably log in using this and we can read it. So let's cat that file. So we're going to cat slash home slash Moira dot SSH slash ID RSA. So then we have the private key and we can go and put that in a file which I already already did. And then we want to set the right permissions for this file, which I believe is 600 uh, for ID RSA. And then we can try to log in as Moira at IP, which was 28. Uh, yes, but we have to supply with dash I our private RSA key. So ID 
RSA. All right, and we have access as Moira right now on this box, so that's perfect. So now we have this access, and what you can do is you can try to run Limpies uh, or uh, PSPy to get more information. Just run through your usual enumeration, and uh, a part of enumeration is always to also check out the home folder, see if there's maybe something in, for example, this bash, bash history file, maybe. This user has typed some commands that might be interesting, for example, plain text uh, credentials or some information guiding us towards a file or a service that's running or whatever. Uh, so it's always nice to check that out. So in this in this case, that's something that we want to check out. And we see that this user has done a lot of weird stuff. And at the top here, we see uh, the user tried to log in run ran sudo dash l vim to nano vim over nano okay that's a, a good meme and then we have this ssh pass uh, with a plain text password here so this plain text password well it might be the password for root so let's see if we can sue as root with this password and we can do just that and that is how you root this box so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, on the fuel box as always if you have any questions leave them down below if you know the commit that fixed this uh, cve then please let me know and that is going to be it for me today i hope you enjoyed it see you later